Hello everyone, thank you all for coming for today's video, the full shard keep it, where I'll be reviewing all types of weapons and perks and seeing how effectively good they are. Today, we'll be looking into the new AR called the Ploop Effect, which is a 360 RPM high impact frame that you can get from upgrading your season pass to rank 30, and then having an increased chance of it dropping via strikes, gambit, or crucible from there on out. This weapon is the same archetype as the popular AR, Half Dandy, and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, this weapon is just like the Half Dandy in nearly every single way, but as a younger and slightly insane cousin version of it. The role I'll be playing with has Corkscrew Rifling, AP Rounds, Slideways and Kill Clip. If you have ever played with the Half Dandy or Galleron's right hand, then you should be familiar with using this weapon's type in general, as they are considered the top performers in the AR field. The Ploop Effect, just like Halfdan and Galarans, is no exception with his main appeal being a strong output of damage on simple adds and PvP players, and his quite incredible range which when paired well with his damage, turns it on par into a high impact scout rifle with full auto, but with faster RPM. Now in terms of appeal, the weapon doesn't have the ability to change the scope, only his barrel. So if you're looking to maximise your range further, then barrel choice such as extended barrel, and then high colour round, rangefinder and rampage or kill clip is your key role to look out for, for both PvE and PvP. However, the weapon does kick quite hard, which adding on range perks may be counterproductive for you, so substituting them for the moment may be a bit more practical for you. But at the same time, if you can make use of the kick, then the range is what you most want to go after. And like I said, if you're a player that's really used to half down on Galarans, this shouldn't really be much of an issue. Now if you're looking for a god role for both PvE and PvP, then the above recommendation is simply what you need to go after. Or if you're simply looking for a PvE god role, then Outlaw, Rampage, AP Rounds and any barrel choice that provides a boost in stability is what you want to best search for. Funnily enough, this makes the Ploop Effect a bit unique in the state compared to Half Dan and Galarans, as it is the only one out of the three to be able to get that specific PvE role. Galaran does come close second with the perks but only has the multi kill clip as a damage boosting perk in its final tree. But there is a few issues here and there that we do need to focus on, which if you're used to using either the Halfdan or Galaran, then you know straight away by what I mean, which is its recoil direction. Just like any other high impact frames, this weapon suffers from recoil control issues, where at times if you play within your range you can control it within your favour, and do incredibly well with it. But at the same time, it's also 50-50 from my experience, as generally going up against other players who have weapons that can cause severe flinch, or even have explosive rounds can be a total pain to work with, plus using high impact frames on console has always been an issue since day one, as a recoil from them compared to PC is much more noticeable. It also has low stability like all common high impact frames, which doesn't help with low recoil direction, so think of it like a kicking mule that you're trying to control as best as you can, and it works when it does want to, and then at times it doesn't. However, its frame type now does allow us to control our accuracy via kneeling, which is something everyone will be making full use of down the line. Now one thing that I do have to say about this world that I have, is that slide shot and then kill clip is extremely useful if you decide to play aggressive and use like this in PvP, as kill clip will pretty much turn this weapon into an absolute monster against anyone stupid enough to attack you, and then slide shot automatically reloads a portion of your magazine, which you're going to be using and abusing pretty much 24-7. Now if I could sort the barrel to polygonal rifling or accent the barrel, and then slide shot for rangefinder, then I could wholeheartedly say this would be a god wall to farm for. But at the current moment, it's on par. It's not perfect, but it's very usable nonetheless. At the same time, maybe swap the kill clip for Rampage, as it can make it a whole lot easier for carrying on firing at targets who may be coming at you in waves. But it's not really that much of an issue, to be honest. So now you're probably thinking, how does this perform in PvP in general? Well, here's some live PvP commentary on me using it in action and just generally get a nice feel of it, and then after I'm done with it, I'll basically give you a final verdict after the commentary is done. So enjoy this bit here, I'll be right back in a sec. Okay, th so this is a map that I never thought I'll actually get onto it. It's usually more competitive. Up. And I need to go. I need to go. Oh god, I'm screwed either way. This 
see, I was waiting where the guy is, and I could not see him. Oh, that, that was a terrible situation, because I could not push up. Because my team was holding one area down. So I need to back off. I'm going to take the left side over here. And there's someone right over there. Now, you see, I'm an idiot because I can avoid that. Was it because my hair is like messed up right now? I can barely concentrate. Okay, there was someone right over here. Now, the one I'm most likely afraid of is that guy right there. Dude, please stop getting away. You shut the enemy down. This is exactly what I was afraid of. A one guy with a shuffle room. Yeah, I thought so he's gonna be over there. I'm gonna try to push up as well. See, is when you've got a snipe on the other side, it's, that's when the issues become become apparent. Okay, see, I could carry on and get that guy there, but I can't. I'm half Avengers it's two times. What is the game? It's quite right here. The guy with the shuffle room that I'm more worried about. Shuffle room users are scary. Okay, back off, back off. Got it there. Go back off here. Fire team that fights together stays together. You gave the lead. Down. And I could perhaps move up here. No, I don't. I don't really want to move up unless I'm on my own. I don't not finish him. That's unbelievable. I should have finished him. Again. But then you clever. It's actually unbelievable. I don't know how I missed those first few shots with that same guy. The guy's dead there. But I'm not gonna risk that because it's too risky. I might get sniped. I hope I don't. Right over there, I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, of course, so. I scout weapons as well, so I was more scared about. Fire team that fights together stays together. Now, if I could just stay back, because I know there's a sniper. Only five minutes left. Right there. Nope. Are you serious? How? How does that work? That was my kill. Oh, God. 
See, that would be amazing if I managed to get that, but nope, that never works. Which means... Nope, no way over there. Left side, left side. Ah, of course. That's way too much of an obvious spot as well. See, I make these mistakes, but I know for a fact I can rectify myself. I just don't really learn myself that much. Okay. Jeez, there's one guy there. No one on the left side. Okay, we're good. Put it right here. Check. No one. Just meet up, meet up my team. Meet up my teammates. Go on this side here. I'm still annoyed about that super. Three minutes left. Check that down there. Wait for a sniper over there. Yeah. Okay. One, two, one thing I can do: push it up here. Two for one. Your legend. Okay, that worked. Teammate did good. There's a sniper over there. So with that being the case, I'm gonna go here. That right there. See where they are, sniper right over there. That's why I see them. Nope. Okay, there's someone over here as well. Don't trust that. Don't trust him, don't trust it. Someone right over there in the corner waiting. And they have grenade launcher, so I'm not gonna push. Right there, I see him. I see him right over there. There's no point, there's literally no point in me pushing. If I push, he'll hit me with grenade launcher. He'll almost like have like three in the round or something. So he's either waiting or something else. Okay, that's what person like it. there is. My super. One minute left. Really? That was a kill? I actually didn't think that connected, but that was that was a pretty damn good shot, I'll admit. Although he's staying really far back, which is odd. Now I don't really like pushing up. It's just one shuffling guy. Nice shot. Right there. No, 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 no. God damn it. <sighs> Excuse me. I could have got that. I paid too aggressive. Alright. They're going to start pushing up now. That's usually what happens. So I'm gonna pass over this nice shot, nice shot. All or nothing. That means the guy gonna be here. Shut the enemy down. I'm gonna try to push up quickly, make full use of kill clear. Is all I ask. Good. Nope. But we did good. We did good. I'll, I'll take that. We did good. Except for the last bit there where I keep messing up. Especially when I knew someone was bad. Now I hope you enjoyed that bit of commentary, as personally I do love this weapon when it gets into the groove of things. Well, in general I do love high impact frames for ARs in general, but I do overall love how well it plays and feels. But I can only say the same to you if you know how to control the weapon's recoil, which may be an issue for many newer players. It hits hard for an AR, which is a must for most encounters. It can be an absolutely destructive if we get perks such as Kill Clip and Rampage going for it. 
but if you don't get those perks, it's not really an issue as it will still perform superbly well, just as vehicle direction and stability is what you need to look out for. Do you remember the weapon has a high range stat and also has a knockdown version of Firmly Planted built into it? So if you can full use the stat as best as you can, it can allow you to engage at near most pulse rifle ranges, which may sound absurd, but with an AR like this that can cover just focus on this area, it's very hard to ignore such a factor. I wholeheartedly recommend you keep this weapon if you get one, as it will serve you well in both PvE and PvP, and then try if you can to farm one as best as you can by just simply just doing any encounters and content in game. Strikes, Gambit, PvP, you name it, just do what you can and try to get a god roll while you're there. It may fire slow, and it may have a lot less stability than most ARs, but boy does it hit like a truck, and it is one of those weapons that is slept on by many people in PvP and PvE. In the right hands, this weapon is destructive, and I wholeheartedly recommend you farm one while you still can. So that comes to the end of the weapon review video for today. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff. Link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again in the next one.